What's going on guys? It's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video and today I want to talk about Destiny's PvP as a whole and what could be one of the reasons it gets worse and worse with every single update. But before we get into the video, if you guys do enjoy it, leaving a like is much appreciated, it really is. Okay, so Destiny's PvP is basically a bag of shit. I'm not going to lie to you guys, I'm not going to hold back. But because we love the game enough to continue playing it, we wait on that next patch, hoping it will sort the shit we are used to out. Now, my idea, which in my opinion, couldn't make things any worse than what they already are, is something they won't ever put into Destiny 1, as much as I'd love to see it but it's something they could consider for Destiny 2's PvP or hopefully it's something they're working towards or working kind of like a system around it. Now I ain't big in the Destiny community for being good at PvP unless it's my PvP what the fuck montages I put out here and there. I'm in fact probably near the bottom of the list when it comes to looking for PvP guidance for you guys which is fair enough because I suck at PvP but even so, even a noob like me, I can see that there's a major issue with PvP and that's with the internet entire defaults of balancing of weapons. Now this 100% I know not everyone will agree with and that is fine but this in my opinion fix would change PvP dramatically weapon balancing wise and in honesty should be the way PvP is if you truly sit there and think about it. Okay so we all agree that Bungie broke the game even more every time they drop a patch of some sort. This patch normally consists of nerfing a certain weapon type and buffing another. They do this so people change up their game. For instance, I guarantee a patch will come sooner or later which nerfs the fast firing archetype of pulse rifles, that being the clever dragon kind, and also nerfing shotguns somehow. I would probably guess at the same time they will buff other weapon archetypes so people will start switching up the game. But, and this is a big but, we have learned that this does nothing but direct people to another weapon which they think works well with the meta. This gets around and everyone starts using the same weapon or class setup. This in turn makes everybody mourn about that very weapon and its archetype. And that archetype gets nerfed and Bungie buffs another weapon archetype and it happens all over again. A prime example of this is shotguns. Shotguns are now as bad as they've ever been. Ruling PvP in every instance. You guys remember Shot Package, a perk removed from the game due to people complaining about it and rightly so, it was stupid. When it was removed, shotguns received a nerf at the same time and snipers become a massive part of the meta. People then complained the snipers were a big pain in the arse and a patch was dropped which seems to basically totally eliminate snipers and then they buffed shotguns at the same time to a point of them being basically out of control once again. Moral of the story is Bungie nerfing a certain kind of weapon type and buffing another kind clearly does not work. No matter what they seem to do, it does nothing but break the game even further. This doesn't benefit anybody. Now the idea I have, like I said, no way will ever be incorporated into Destiny 1 due to it probably being too much of a big job. Not impossible, but I doubt Bungie want to work on two titles at the same time. Not on this scale anyway, as it is kind of like a clean sheet with that balancing of weapons. But this is something I would love to see incorporated into Destiny 2. I believe this is something that should have been the way weapons worked from the very start of Destiny 1. And the idea is simple. No perfect lord weapons or god lord weapons as a lot of people say. Now hear me out before you start screaming in that comments section. Weapons like the Clever Dragon and the Grasp of Malak, with their time to kill being one of the fastest in the game, should not have major stability perks like counterbalance, brace frame or hand laid stock. A weapon like this shoots insanely quick and this should penalise the user by not having laser beam accuracy. I ain't saying take away all stability perks, but for a weapon like this, the user should need a skilled hand to control the recoil instead of having perks that do it for them and making it way too easy. It's as simple as pulling one trigger and pulling another trigger, nothing else. Now there are other issues with this weapon type which I could go on about all day long which do need sorting. One point is the fact that they can still outrange scout rifles in 99% of gun battles due to the way this game is. It's another basic which does need sorting out in reality. Things as simple as that. But to be honest that's a whole one of a video and carrying on with my point about no perfect world weapons. Weapons like the Matador the conspiracy theory shouldn't have major range perks. If you choose to use a weapon with max impact range should come at a cost and for damn sure full auto should not be on a shotgun this powerful 
it needs taken away. The whole point of a shotgun being that powerful should penalise the user if they miss a shot. Not having a chance to recover from a missed shot would make people think twice about abusing it. Hand cannons like the IS Luna, the palindrome, shouldn't have luck in the chamber. Now I know this will be a sore subject and people will disagree with me on it. That's because they love hand cannons with luck in the chamber, which is fair enough. But luck in the chamber is way too OP to be putting on a three shot kill hand cannon dropping it to a two shot kill and in my opinion maybe should be a perk on hand cannons with a much bigger clip size, less impact and a quicker fire rate or taking out the hand cannon perk tree altogether and left on scout rifles as let's face it it's way too easy to two shot the much better player using what should be a better weapon at a range you are fighting at than it should be. The problem I think Bungie have is they're worrying too much about kill time. Now kill time is obviously everything in this game, it's PvP, the faster you kill the better. But it's like Bungie are trying the hardest to match up a weapon's kill time to that of the fastest in the game. Not thinking about how it affects other weapons they leave out, leaving out a whole host of weapons which no one ever uses. Instead of trying to match time to kill time by buffing and nerfing weapons, why not just put in place the certain defaults I talk about? For sure a weapon like the Clever Dragon can kill you in under a second. I ain't saying change that, I'm saying take out the ability for someone to do it across the damn map. Taking out a major stability perk like Counterbalance on this type of pulse rifle would eliminate this to a major degree and it would take a lot more effort from the Guardian using this weapon to hit such a kill. I know it goes a lot further than perks, we have aim assist, range, all that comes into account. It still needs to be stripped down to the basics and refigured and hopefully they do that with number two. Now I know a lot of people are still wondering why I would say take out the perfect world weapons. What I'm trying to get at is the only so to speak guard world weapons in this game should be exotics. If you want a hand cannon with luck in the chamber, use the Hawk Moon. It's because of weapon patches to try and fix this shit, it has led to exotic speed while not really exotic. The exotic weapons in this game are all legendary. The only weapons which should be really in theory challenging each other are exotics. Exotic should be the base of a weapon setup. Certain exotics using certain setups for certain styles of play, attacking, defensive, neutral, etc. etc. I think Bungie do a good job on this with exotic armor pieces. So why is this whole weapon armory and balancing of the weapons completely broke? It's kind of like they've gone too far into it and can't revert back. Now don't get me wrong, I ain't saying break every legendary weapon in the game. Just take away certain aspects of the gun or that arc type of weapon which is making them say what people think is OP. Exotic weapons should be exotic, legendary should be below par on what we get on exotics. Like I said it's way too late to incorporate such a system one I think Bungie originally wanted in place and somewhere down the line things got out of control and now it's just a pile of mess but I do think it's something they could work towards or hopefully they are working on with Destiny 2. The problem is for this to work in Destiny 1 there would need to be basically an exotic of every archetype of weapon. But getting further into it for example let's take a few legendaries from this game and pretend they are exotic. Let's use the Clever Dragon, the Palindrome, the Matador and the Longbow. These are now all exotic weapons. Let's say they all have what is considered the God Roll. Let's also pretend that the perks on these weapons which make it that God Roll can't be found on legendaries in the game which you would pair these weapons up with. It would eliminate setups like the Clever Dragon and Matador, the Palindrome and the Longbow etc etc and it would indeed make people choose wisely about their class setups in my opinion is a way more balanced way PvP could play out. People 99% of the time will now use the same class for all mods of PvP. If you use the same class for control and clash there is no doubt that there is a balancing issue it's as simple as that. And this way as well if, if one exotic was considered overpowered they could nerf that one exotic instead of a whole archetype of weapons leaving the majority of that weapon archetype considered garbage and left on the shelf. It would make things way easier for themselves in the long run. This kind of system in my opinion needs to be introduced into Destiny 2 or something that is similar. Or I feel PvP may fall the same way within Destiny 2 which I guarantee none of us want. Now I know this kind of system would take basically a whole new rebalance of many many perks and it's why I say a system like this won't come to Destiny 1. Hopefully though, like I just said, Destiny 2, they get it right. But guys tell me your thoughts in that comment section, hope you guys enjoyed the video, thanks as always for stopping by and I'll catch you guys on that next one. Always
Rising 